This is a really fast tutorial on um, Linux desktop with i3. Um, i3 is a Windows environment and it's a bit different than normal desktops. Most people who are familiar with Windows systems in which you click on menus and open up Windows or things like that. Uh, this right here you'll notice at the top here is open the, the menu system here for opening up a window is control D and it gives you a list there of various programs and you can go on there and open any of those programs you can type a letter at the beginning of that and it will um, change all the programs to the first letter that you put up or multiple letters or whatever um, but when you first install i3, one thing is it's going to come up and ask you if you want to create a configuration file. Uh, you need to, to click yes to that. Um, the configuration file controls the whole thing in i3. Without a configuration file, you don't really have anything at all. Um, now, another thing here I'm going to show you real quick is this right here. Uh, this is um, uh, i i3wm.org. Um, this right here is your documentation about how to, to set everything up. Uh, that configuration file you start out with is going to be uh, the main thing you're going to be using. Uh, the other thing it'll ask you when you first install it is it'll ask you uh, whether or not you want to use, um, which key you want to use as your default key. You have one key that has most of the power in this i3 Windows system. Um, and usually it's the window, it could be the Windows key, but you have an alternative to, to, to pick it as the uh, Alt key if you prefer. Uh, but it doesn't matter on that, which, which you prefer. You do need to pick the configuration on the first, on the first option. Um, technically, you can go in later, if you, even if you didn't click Yes on the configuration, then, and there's a command that you can type in. If you go to this web page, it'll tell you what the command to type is. And, um, you, you'll be able to do that. A lot of the configuration has to be set up in this configuration file. Uh, your ability to open programs, you can use these things that we have up there already on this with this um, uh, this menu that I've got up here right now that you open with Control D, but that's kind of a poor way to do it. Uh, you can actually set up uh, a thing like um, your default key and then open an O for open and then it'll open up a menu and you can then just click a letter and it'll open up the program you want. But you have to set that up manually and you can set it up with the programs that you want to open. Uh, you'll notice here at the bottom uh, that I've got all these desktops. You can run infinite number of, des of, work of, of desktops on this thing and you can run multiple monitors and and there's no limit, and there's no limit to the way you have to name these things. It comes set up with 10 default screens, but you can go in afterwards and add other screens. Um, so far, I've had to do techniques I really wasn't really crazy about as far as the way I had to do it, but um, I couldn't use like a 10 0 for, for, for a number to put a screen down. but. Uh, I, I could put 10, use the, the 10 number, but I have to do it a different way. Um, but anyway, you have to figure out how you want to go ahead and do that. Um, and then you can, I've got 15 configured on this thing right now. It comes with 10 set up as a default. Um, and also I have a bunch of other things set up. I've got things on here um, that will allow me to... Um, uh, um, to change the focus on the windows a lot easier than it normally is. A lot of these things are automatically fixed in. Um, this system is made up for terminals and so when you hit um, your control key and then enter it opens up a terminal. In fact I can actually probably do that right now on here. Let me hit that and enter and You'll see there it opens up a terminal on the on the side there, and if I was to do that um, a second time, okay. Usually it opens up 
Oh, I think part of the reason is I don't have, I need to uh, close the um, thing above and then go in and hit enter again. Well, I hit enter again, now I made it a full screen. Uh, so you get different results here. Let me actually just right now, just get rid of that entirely. Um, but anyway, um, there are a lot of different issues with this thing. Um, at first, it seems kind of complicated because um, the biggest problem I'm having now is because I'm having to do the video and and also manage the um, thing. But I have it set up here. Even on this one screen, I've got like 10 desktops, and I can just click on different numbers, and it will open up um, different web pages and stuff right off the bat, just clicking through things. Um, so um, anyway, uh, I just wanted to give an example of uh, some things with the i3 desktop thing. Um, at first, it's harder to get used to if you're not used to this uh, before you learn how. The configuration file and how you set that up is going to give you most of your power uh, with operating this system. Um, and so you'll have to study that. And this user guide is going to be your lifesaver on that because it's going to have all kinds of information in there about how to set up all kinds of things. And you'll have to study that real hard at first. So that's really probably the biggest challenge. Uh, once you get to a certain level, um, you'll be able to do all kinds of things. I will show you one thing real quick that you'll need to know. Um, you'll have to hit um, your, your, your control key that you pick, the shift key, and E. And when you do that, it will open up a screen over here. And that screen there is what you need to get out of this. And so that's kind of important because you need to get have a way to get out. So you have to hit, be able to hit the control key and, um, and then um, the shift key and then an E for exit. Um, but anyway, that's all I have for now. Um, and so I wanted to show you something about um, I3 environment. Thanks a lot. Bye.